since AI has become a thing, SEO has sort of changed, but also stayed the same. And I have never done a an SEO video or looked at the tool before, but I think it's time because RightMath has something very cool to offer. And I think it's so much better than the other options that are out there at the moment, at least. By the way, they also are running a Black Friday deal. I will have a link in the description to their offer. You have to check it out and we're going to go a little bit into that briefly. But in the meantime, I don't know what you're using, but I tested other SEO plugins before because, you know, we have to do that as creators. I tested Yoast, I tested iOSEO, and to be honest, RankMath was the easiest, the interface was the easiest, the cleanest, and very intuitive for a beginner. And as a plugin, it's quite lightweight because let's face it, if you add plugins and you know that I hate adding plugins to a website, I try to do as much as I can without, you know, sometimes you have to add a plugin. So in this case, Rank Math is really lightweight. You don't have to worry about making your website heavy because of it. And right now it has amazing tools. It has automation tools, schema marker, on-page tests, and they have content AI, which is surprisingly helpful. So you don't have to switch to ChatGPT to do your blogs or test your blogs or anything like that. You can do everything with their content AI in the page. Just a fun fact, NASA uses rank map, which was another surprising fact. SEO is that thing that feels like black magic, I would say. It still feels like that to me. I sometimes don't want to deal with it and I prefer to have other, other tools do that for me. I want to focus on the design part, but we still have to deal with it. So most people struggle with the basics, which are what keywords to target, how to structure your content, how to add schema, how to add product descriptions that actually make your website rank, or how to measure anything. And I think Rank Math takes at least 80% of that, you know, problem off your shoulders. I don't know how to quantify really, but it feels like it's a lot. So now let's get into a little demo. All right, so I'm in the back end of the website, which I want to SEO, and I am going to go to add Rank Math. I don't have it right now. I'm going to add it. So I'm going to look for it right here. Okay, I'm going to install it. And as you can see, it was last updated one week ago. So don't have to worry about the plugin not being updated. Activate 3 million installs. Oh my God, that's amazing. 3 million websites are using Wang Math. After you have installed it, you will see that it will appear right here on the left hand side of your dashboard. I'm going to click on it and I am going to connect my account. You can either connect Facebook, Google or WordPress or just use an email. So I'm going to create an account. I'm going to just for demonstration purposes, obviously. I'm going to uh, use an email address. I prefer this, to be honest. Activate. And we are going to go through the wizard steps, okay? So let's see what we have here. Nothing recommended for advanced users who want to control every SEO aspect of the website. You are offered options to change everything and have full control. So I think this is what we want. And let's continue. Okay, this is done. Let's continue. Okay. Skip this step. All right, we do want a sitemap, including images. All right. Okay, for now, we're going to have everything. Let's save and continue. Uh, let's skip this step so far. So my site is ready. We can set up advanced options. Let's turn to dashboard. And here we are. Okay, so they have a Black Friday. As you can see here, they have Black Friday sale. So if I click on it, so this is their Black Friday offer. They have some cool offers here. I will leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. So once you have installed Rank Math, you will be able to find it here on the left hand side of your dashboard. And if you hover over it, you can access the dashboard of Rank Math. So I'm going to go right in there. As you can see, we have uh, quite a few things turned on here, among which we have content AI. I have also the 404 monitoring on and so much more. You can turn on all of them. You can turn off the things that you don't want to use. Let me just show you something here in content AI because I had a little snag. So if you go to settings and you don't have access to your credits, you can go here to this refresh button icon and click on it and you will get the 750 
credits for the month, okay? These are included for free. So you can use Content AI for free with your Rank Math subscription for free, okay? Which is absolutely amazing. So let's go and look at our pages. I'm gonna go to the homepage. I want to focus on the homepage because usually these are the important pages that need to be worked on first of all. So I'm gonna go to edit. So we can access Rank Math from here. As you can see, if you hover over here, you can see that this is Rank Math and this is Content AI, okay? So I'm gonna go to Rank Math and right away, this is how our page will show actually how it shows on Google search, for example. So we can edit this snippet if we want. And I, th I think we should because this is the very important part of your SEO. It just looks boring. It's just the title, the separator, which is the, this dash, and then the site name. We don't want that. We want something that is very SEO friendly and it works in search. So I have here an example. We have Studio McGee, which is an interior design studio. And as you can see, this is how their home page appears search. So it's the name of the studio and then it's what they do. Beautiful interior design and home decor. So we basically need something similar. Okay. So I'm going to go in my page and I'm going to leave the site name and I'm going to say interior by Genie. And I'm going to have the separator and I'm going to have this about the studio. Let's say you know, you can change it to whatever you want, or I can have the semicolon, okay? Semicolon? Is it semicolon? Whichever you prefer, but it seems like this is the general gist, so I'm gonna leave it as is, okay? So, as you can see, our rank went to almost green. It's 54 out of 6, and look how it is looking right here. So, let's see if I add the semicolon. It's basically the same. So it adds a little bit uh, more to the score. So I'm going to leave it like this then. We can even generate with AI. Let's see what we are getting here. All right, this is pretty cool. Let's generate more. Let's see what it's giving us. Okay, let's insert this information. So as you can see, we have to still work a little bit here. This is not correct. We don't want it this way. And I'm going to add a separator here. And I wonder why it's red now. Ah, oh, okay, it's too long. Transform your space. A little interior design. Okay, it's too long. So we have to shorten it a bit. Transform your space. Almost perfect. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like this with capital letters for each word because it seems like this is the right way to do it. And our description has been written by Content AI and this is good. So let's see how our socials look like. We have to add an image, but for now, this is good. Let's see how it looks on actual devices. So this is the desktop version. Okay, we like it. And the mobile. All right, so that is done. Okay, the snippet is good. Okay, these are the AI tools. This is what we can generate with the content AI. This is quite a lot. Let's focus on the focused keywords here. So here in the focused keywords, we have to insert the keywords that we want to rank for. So I would say interior design. Okay, and interior design. Europe, this as well. All right, then it seems like we are doing pretty well in, in terms of basic SEO. All is good from having all in all SEO, basic SEO red. Let's see what we have here. Additional, we have two errors. So an image with your focus keywords as alt text. Okay, so we need to add an image. Use content AI to optimize the page. So we can do that as well. Title readability, okay, fix with AI. So focus keyword doesn't appear at the beginning of the SEO title. So let's fix that with AI. Let's see what we can do here. Interior design tips to transform your space. Could we say European? It seems like it's working. So we could do that, especially if you are focused on the European market. And let's see if that worked. So that works. Okay, optimized 87% or I think it's 87% or 87 out of 100 points. I don't know how this is calculated, but yeah, we are pretty much uh, doing very well. I still have to optimize the page 
and I still have to add an image with uh, a focus keywords. I mean, for the most part, we are optimized. We have the page optimized. If you want to add additional content to your page, you can do so. So uh, use a content AI to optimize your page. Let's see what we could do here. So since this is a home agent, it's not a blog, we can't actually add text to it from here through Elementor editor. So uh, what you can do here basically is add audio instructions. If this is a blog post or whatever, say write up an article about fabric and wallpaper, let's say, and make the tone of voice casual, friendly, informal, let's say creative, formal and creative. Okay. Keywords, the interior design, interior styling, home, Europe, let's say that. And you can uh, choose the length of the article from short to long and then generate. And it's going to generate it for you. Since we are not on the WordPress editor, it's not going to do that from here. So maybe we can do that. Okay. So let's see. All right. So it's generating. So this is what I mean. If you are writing your article in the Gutenberg editor, this is what will happen. And I think it's cool, but you still have to think a little bit to do not take this as is. Make sure that you change some words, uh, the tone of voice, add your own you know, magic to it because you might get in trouble with Google. I'm not sure how Google is looking at this type of articles by now. Anyway, so I am just saying by all means do this, but also make sure that you filter this information and you add your own touch to it. Okay. So that is pretty cool. Okay. Uh, you can regenerate, you can use, you can write more if you want. You have seen how this works. Okay. All right, so let's go back to Rank Math and I want to go to their dashboard and I want to show you something pretty cool. Let's go to schema. So the schema is structured data, okay? You can read a little bit more on it here, but I want to turn it on and I want to go to one of my pages and let's see if the schema has been activated so let's go to the home page and it should appear right here this is right here yeah so it should appear right here this is the schema okay so it is set to be an article but i don't want it to be an article i want it to be something else so in that case i'm gonna go to my dashboard and i'm gonna go to settings yeah right here so I am going to set it to, you see here, the schema type is an article. So you can select your uh, schema from here. Something that is very close, re closely related to your page. So in our case, since the homepage is not an article, we have to delete it or just change it to something else. So in this case, we are going to go to schema generator and select service because our website is service based. So I'm going to save for this post and now it's a service. I know it sounds a little bit uh, not correct necessarily, but I think it is much better than an article because we are offering a service on this website. So we can set the same schema for all the other pages. For example, the about page, let's go to edit and let's go to rank math schema. It's article. We can set it to two services. So basically what schema is, is just a piece of code that is added inside the web page for Google to understand you what your page is about. So this is actually helping you so much with your SEO. So keep that in mind. So it's like it adds a label to your page to know what it is. Okay. So now I'm on a blog website still related to interior design. And I want to show you the Elementor rank math integration because this is pretty cool. So I'm going to go to edit with Elementor. Okay. And you will see that we are getting a third option here where we can actually work on our SEO right from the editor, which is actually pretty cool. And this needs to be optimized because it's so bad. This is very, very cool. So yeah, this is something that you can keep in mind. Also, you can change the schema from here. 
Yeah, so this is an article, which is a good schema. And if I go to schema generator, you can choose another type of schema if you want. But in our case, this is actually accurate. And you can also add a custom schema if you want, but you need to, to upgrade to the pro version of Ragma. And this is how it's going to look on socials when you're going to post it. There are a lot of things here that we can go over, but this is something to keep in mind that you can actually optimize your snippets from here and everything else very easily. So I have been asked many times if I can still rank math better than Yoast, for example, because these two are the market share competitors. I think rank math is better, especially for beginners, if you're a beginner. And even if you are not, it's absolutely inclusive. So uh, I highly recommend it. It's lightweight in both ways as a plugin and also as a tool. And the UI is very easy to use as well. You don't have a lot of visual clutter, not a lot of jargon, of course. They also explain a lot of things. They also have their own YouTube channel that you can go and look at their informative videos if you need to. I think they're really good. And... Honestly, I really recommend it to all my clients. I don't use anything else at this point. Maybe in the future, who knows what else will come. But for now, is it. So honestly, the free version is more than enough to start with. Try it, test it, take it for a spin for as long as you want. As you've seen, I've only used Rank Math for free, Content AI for free. Everything that I did here was free. So it's three to use for the most part okay there are some features of course more complex that you need to pay for so also the if you want to upgrade to pro they have a black friday offer 36 percent discount on rank math pro including two extra benefit offers so check it out i will leave a link in the description below and just to highlight quickly what you're getting is focus keywords local seo smart SEO suggestions, image SEO suggestion, content AI with 753 credits, which is amazing. Easy schema, as you've seen, bulk editing for agencies. And if you're switching from Yoast or iOS SEO, you can literally migrate everything in just one click. Maybe I'll show you that another time, but that is possible. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Go and get it. If you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.